Alex from Wedding Show TV. Today we'll be speaking to Ellie Sanderson, one of the UK's leading bridal retailers at her beautiful Beaconsfield boutique. Today we'll be discussing the styling of ball gowns. Ellie, thank you so much for having us today. It's a pleasure, lovely to see you again Alex. Ellie, it seems like the majority of brides now have a theme to their wedding. Are there certain looks that go particularly well with a ball gown? Um, I think, I mean a ball gown is quite a formal style dress and therefore the type of wedding that you're having, uh, the gown has to fit into that theme of the day. So mm. for example you wouldn't wear a ball gown if you were having a Gatsby inspired wedding dress or you wouldn't wear a ball gown if you're um, evening reception was in a barn, it, it's got to look right. So a ball gown is a very glamorous, traditional type of dress and therefore, um, you know, church weddings, civil ceremonies, quite formal, kind of feels right and fitting for that type of dress to be worn. Yeah, um, a bride that really wants to look and feel a million dollars on her wedding day. Absolutely, bit. absolutely. It's quite a princess look as well, particularly if you choose one in a very soft silk or ganza. It has a certain style and look to it. So it has to, first of all, suit you as an individual, but then second of all, it has to look right in context as well. So is there a way of transforming a ball gown from day to evening to ensure that a bride-to-be feels equally as fabulous in the evening as she does in the daytime? Yeah, absolutely. There's so many ways to change the look of your wedding dress. Um, most girls after dinner will sneak off before the first dance and come back looking a little bit different. Um, instead of having two dresses, which is incredibly expensive to do, this is probably the best way to do it. So a lot of girls will wear jackets with their dresses and those can be slipped off in the evening. You could take your veil off. Um, you would automatically at that point bustle the back of the dress so that you can do your first dance easily. And then things like sparkly belts and statement pieces of jewellery, chandelier earrings, perhaps a change of hairband for the evening, a huge diamante cuff. There are so many ways that you can do it. Some girls also add a coloured sash for the evening to tie in with the bridesmaid. So where they may have had a neutral sash for the day, they'll change it to black for the evening or dark crimson or something quite striking. And, and what it does on the day is when you come back down, um, for your first dance, everybody turns to look at you, you look different, and you've kind of marked the change in the day to party. Brilliant, so you've still got that wow factor. Yeah, absolutely, and your day guests get to see you look two different ways on your wedding day, which is amazing. It sounds like there are so many different things that you could do to be versatile on your wedding day. That's great advice, thank you so much. Pleasure. You can meet Ellis Anderson and all of our other experts at the National Wedding Shows. For more information, please visit nationalweddingshow.co.uk.